Most of the serious software for generating terrain like Gaia, Word Machine, Word Creator, export height map in raw format. Also, Unity and Unreal Engine recommend to import the height data in raw format. But why raw format and why not JPEG or PNG? That is because JPEG or PNG, they usually tend to modify and compress the pixels. And they will not give an accurate result. Unfortunately, Goldot does not support raw format by default and I think it should support by default. But no worry, I just wrote a raw 16-bit format importer which you can use. Before that, let me tell you how raw 16-bit images work. The word raw 16-bit image is a little bit scary, but actually it is much easier than other format. Raw 16-bit image stores the information of the height for each pixel in 2 bytes or 16 bit. If I talk about unsigned integer, I can store in 2 byte a value between a range of 0 up to 65535. And that train generator program like Word Machine, they set the lowest height to 0 and highest value to 65535. Well now you just use file access to open the file and read this file with grab16 function in a loop. This will return to you an unsigned 16-bit integer. Then the main problem starts from here. Now you have this 2 byte as an integer, I mean you have all of your data in an array. How you can create an image with that? Obviously we want to create that image with image class in Godot. Image class has a function which is called create from data. This function takes width, height, image format and data. When you want to use this function, First thing to look is which format support image class. It has format R8 which is absolutely not good for train because this format store image in 8 bits and this way you will have a terrible train because 8 bit cannot hold a number with high accuracy. Please note in this case we have only one channel information. I mean we don't have red, green and blue. So I don't want to choose format RGB or format with more than one channel. So down here we have another format which is a 32-bit floating point format. This is working but it takes too much space. Here there is another format which is called format RH. This is a 16-bit floating point image format and this takes less space. And the accuracy of this is enough for us. Well, this format is really good, but there is another problem. In GDScript or C++, officially we don't have this format. For example, in C++ we have float, which is a 32-bit floating point value, and we have double, which is 8-byte, and it is more accurate. So there is no suitable type which we can cast our unsigned 60-bit integer to that, and from that, create our image. Also, floating point data type are a little bit more complex than integer data type. This is a floating point structure in C++. As you can see, first byte is for the sign of the number, 8 byte is for the exponent, and 23 byte is for mantissa. I did not know at first, but actually Godot provide us with a function that we can create a 16-bit floating point. There is a function inside core massfunc.h which is called make half float. This function is going to take a float and return an unsigned 60-bit integer. But actually it is not an integer, it is a float. If you read that, it will give you some garbage number. But don't worry, that is correct. Finally, this is how you should do it. First, create a packed byte array. Then, resize that to correct size. Because each pixel take 2 bytes, for example, if you have 1000 pixels, you should resize that to 2000. Then make a loop, read from the file with the get16 and cast that to a double. Then use encode half in packed byte array. This function automatically encode your double to half precision float. Also, this function use that function which I showed you before behind the scene. Then you can use this data for creating the image. Well, all of this code is on GitHub. Now, if you open my train go.demo, it has a raw importer now. If you go inside hf folder, you can see it can read file with R16 format. To be able to use this raw importer, you need to activate mtrain plugin. Now, if you click on hf.r16 file and then go inside import section, you can see there is two importer for this one. One give you an image and one give you a texture. And down here, there are two options, width and height. 
Raw images have no header like other image format. So when you import them, you don't know what is the width or height. If the width and height are equal, this can calculate by itself the dimension. Otherwise, it need your help to understand the dimension of this image. And finally, writing this raw importer improved a lot the memory usage compared to the previous video. As you can see here, the memory usage is around 900 megabyte. And that is because we used a half precision floating point. Well, that was about raw image. I hope you liked this video. And till the next video, have a good time.